Safran Project is the only project management system today that offers schedule risk analysis directly in the scheduling tool. It's a Monte Carlo based simulation and the outputs are new duration and end dates. The schedule risk pane is divided into two parts. At the right you have the output area. In the left you have an input panel and display schedule risk analysis output. Both subpanes have a shortcut menu to access schedule risk functions, setup functions and chart selections. The risk input and output data can be included as columns in the activity columns area as you see in the layout. We start with a quick risk, a feature that allows you to set optimistic and pessimistic duration as percentages of the activity's duration. Quick Risk contains a filter option which allows you to apply a selection of activities if you have a large project with thousands of activities and you just want to run a Quick Risk on a small part of it. After running the risk analysis, Safran offers different reports to evaluate the output of the analysis. You have the typical risk histogram and tornado chart. The risk histogram can show the spread of start dates, the spread of finish dates, the durations and float. After you have run a quick risk, you can change some of the parameters like pessimistic duration on some of the activities. And then run a complete risk analysis. I'm now going to transfer risk data up to the bar chart so we can visualize them in bars in the Gantt. For that I'm going to use the schedule risk juggler. I have predefined two alternative schedules, one for P50 and one for P80. Start with the P50. Then I'm going to transfer the P80. I have created two symbols for the P50 and P80 schedules. Now you see they have come into the gun chart. Going to do a refresh. And now you see the P80 dates in the red bars, and you see the P50 dates in the green bar.